Hi guys and welcome to another Gunpla TV review. This time we are looking at Ayaka Ichijo and she is another girl from the Alice Gear Aegis line. Obviously this is a Megami device and it is designed by Fumikane Shimada. So actually she's built to be shorter in height than the Sitara that we did before to match the game heights. So even though it's Kotobuki and most of their kits have the same heights because this is a character from a game, it's, you know, it's got to match the other characters from that game. So this model comes with a new dual weapon, a new set of gear, and even bonus parts to create a cleaning robot. Now this thing definitely does look like a Roomba. I'm not sure why they put it in. Um, I do not play this game, but I'm sure it's something to do with that. The funny thing is, it's the first time I've had this with Kotobuki, is they make you glue on the little spike. I'm not really gonna look at that. You can, it's got some nice detail underneath, but that's about it. So what it includes, once you've built it, you get that present code for the game. I don't know, I think I threw mine away. It includes three different pre-printed faces, a normal one, a smiling one, and a like an, oh my God, one. It includes a variety of gear parts and SP Noblest Oblige, allowing users to create a variety of combat scenes. So yeah, it really does come with quite a lot of stuff. You've got two guns. I thought it was just one that you had to sandwich together, but no, they're two. I'm not gonna be using them, they're too small. You get quite a cool sword. You get that massive gun on her shoulder that, you know, luckily you don't have to make her hold. It's part of her backpack. And you get a stand just for that to keep it up. As with everything, really from Kotobuki, it's got those three millimeter connection points. So it can be used with all the other kits. You have a variety of decals for the eyes and one for the top of the robot. I didn't bother putting that on. So you also get these effect parts that you can put on either her shoes, at the back of her shoes, to make it look like she's blasting through the air. They can also be attached to those little triangular things that, 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 that have great detail at the top. Pull out the plug and you put in a bigger flash part. You can also connect this flash part to the actual weapon itself. And you get one big shield for her back device and one smaller shield if you wanted to use that on her arm or something like that. I've left that with the stickers off. Maybe one day I'll paint it because to be honest, if you look at this big one with the stickers, it looks better before than, with, than when you put them on. But I did want to show the colors. Now something you'll notice is that um, she is already in her armored mode. And it's because I'm tired of building those legs and just showing them off. They're exactly the same in all of the kits. Um, so I, I went straight to armor mode. I did actually build the arms and then realized, oh damn, I've just wasted my time, but um, you can see them here. So yeah, looking at the kit, it is beautiful, even just out of the box. But I'm gonna go on a rant here. Lots and lots and lots of this has been glued down. Those shoulder pads, those arm bit shoulder pads are a nightmare and the peg is so small that it's really hard to put on. Her shields, pretty much every layer I've, I've glued down. I mean, just anything that you can. The little fins on the triangles, all glued down. Oh, it was just, it was a nightmare to try and film this. So I'm sorry if you see any of those little white marks and stuff, it's because glue stuck to my fingers and whatever. It, it was a nightmare. Another issue I had building this, and it really was hard, was putting that dress on. It sandwiches in with another piece and it doesn't properly fit in. No matter how hard I tried, I put on so much pressure that even the, the actual pegs broke. Um, you know, the pegs that go in to hold it together. So that's also glued. Ugh, nightmare. Nightmare. So what I can say about this kit is that it looks good. It really does. It would have been even more amazing if they could have made that shield look how it actually does in the promotional pictures instead of putting those tacky stickers on. You also get two cat ears. I'm not faffing around with that. I'm not going to put them on, but uh, yeah, you do get two, two cat ears as well. So for this armoured version's articulation, Feet move around like any other Megami device. It's just a peg. The knees go up quite well, but you want to be careful because that sometimes the armor parts any movement in certain directions. So those flaps on her side, which obviously have some type of, I would call them missiles maybe, uh, can go up and down. I think that's pretty impressive. Also, the back rotation system is what we've seen similar with that blue plastic, and it offers pretty much all the options you could want because you know you can put it left right up down you know you can put those triangles wherever you want so that's pretty impressive the articulation of the midriff is also quite impressive 
but you've really got to consider whether you want to start moving that around when you've got all the equipment on her. The massive gun itself does not do too much. It's uh, pretty beastly though. And uh, yeah, I think it's a nice addition. The legs joining to the hips, very stiff. So you want to be careful moving them around. And obviously her legs are limited by her skirt. So you can only bend them out so far. The hands, you get both type of hands, the ones with the, the small ball joints, or you get the ones with, that you just stick and they're static. I like using them for the sword. The head moves around, just be careful not to knock off any parts. <laughs> you may want to glue them down uh, or damage her hem whilst moving it around. The arms move well, very simple peg joints, and the hair, the hair also moves. I probably got unlucky with mine, but one of the pieces of hair will just just fall out the whole time. Now, how to fix this is what you do is you can put some glue onto the peg, let it set, and then that adds a bit less space and so, you know, creates more friction. Some people with an eager eye will wonder why there's a slit in her midriff. Now, this is because she's meant to have this little handkerchief type of thing there. Now, she did have it, but of course, like everything else on this kit, it seems to want to fall off the whole time and so Guess what? It fell off and it's probably somewhere deep in my sofa. I looked for hours. I can't find it. So sorry about that. So all in all, it's a beautiful kit, but it's so poorly made. You can make it well. You, you would have to start with the knowledge that everything is going to fall off and glue it down on the first try. Because once you start doing it all at once, like I did, because I had to do this review, once you start doing that, then, you know, the glue doesn't set, the glue I was using wasn't 100% instant. So you start knocking it off again, and then it creates that awful white residue if you get your fingers on it. So yours would look better than mine, and that would cancel all these issues out if you just build it and glue it. So yeah, a lot of accessories, a lot of parts unused actually, so you know, you can use them for other kits. But, uh, mm, frustrating, but beautiful. That's what I'd say about this kit. Yeah.